Hey God morning Facebook peeps, it's Mandy with MyTrainerMandy.com. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at MyTrainerMandy. This morning, I'm recording a video for you guys about oil pulling. Most of you have probably heard of oil pulling before, either on the internet or, you know, Facebook or other people in magazines, something like that. But it's actually become very, very popular, and it's really great for your oral health and also to keep your teeth nice and white and keep you um, with fresh breath. So um, I'm going to actually demonstrate on how to do it, but before I do that, I want to explain to you that, um, you know, your health of your mouth is very important in correlation with the health of your body, so it's important that we take care of the insides of our body by drinking a lot of water, eating clean, and then also taking good care of our mouth. So you can actually use coconut oil, olive oil, or sesame seed oil. Today I'm going to be doing it with coconut oil for one because it just actually tastes better, um, and also coconut oil is antiviral, antibacterial and antifungal, but feel free to use it with any three of the types of oils. And I'm also going to attach a article in the comments below so that you guys can get a little bit more background information of where oil pulling originated and some other things that you can do um, for making oil pulling a little bit more beneficial. So this here is Carrington Farms brand coconut oil. I actually bought this at Walmart. And as you know, coconut oil is going to be solid at room temperature unless you buy the one that's liquid, which they do have those now. Um, but I personally prefer just to get the regular coconut oil. And so once you put it in your mouth, you're actually going to have to kind of swish around, move your mouth around to warm up the oil so that it kind of melts. And I know that sounds a little bit disgusting, but it's actually not that bad. Um, especially, like I said, coconut oil tastes a lot better than the sesame oil or the olive oil. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my mouth. I'm going to swish it around. I'm going to show you guys kind of how to do it. And I'm going to spit it out in a bowl. Um, but I want to caution you that when you do this, you definitely don't want to spit it in the sink or in the toilet because it can clog up the pipe. So you always want to spit it into the trash can. And... Um, it's basically very, very simple. It's best to do first thing in the morning on an empty stomach before you have consumed anything. So before you've had anything to drink, before you've had anything to eat. Um, so I usually use it, uh, put it in the restroom. And in the morning when I wake up to go to the restroom, I see the coconut oil and it reminds me. And I go ahead and grab it then. I put a little bit in my mouth and I start swishing it around. So it's really easy to do while you're in the shower or if you're getting the kids ready for school or maybe, you know, just whatever you have going on in the mornings. They typically suggest that you do it between 5 and 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes is kind of a long time so it kind of just depends on your schedule uh, but you know once again it's better to do it than to not do it at all so first thing in the morning is actually the best but even if you have to do it in the middle of the day or in the evenings I still encourage you to um, you know put this into your routine because you're going to notice a huge difference in um, your mouth you're going to notice a difference in the amount of you know tartar or plaque that builds up on your teeth you're going to notice that your your teeth just feel cleaner you're going to have fresher breath and overall you're just going to feel more confident about your your mouth and your smile so I'm going to show you really quick how I do this. I'm just going to put a little bit on the spoon here. Um, they say one to two teaspoons. You know, I just say a little bit is better than not doing it all. So even if you have to start out really small, that's still going to be okay. So I'm using about this amount here. Mm -hmm. mm, lots of oily goodness. So as you can see, I did that kind of fast. You know, I was just demonstrating that you want to make sure that you push and pull. That's what's called oil pulling, that you push and pull it through your teeth, and then you can feel it going in and out, you know, in through your teeth, and it's all in your gums and your mouth to clean your mouth really, really well. Another thing you can do is you can add in um, essential oils like lemon, clove, cinnamon, lavender, frankincense, tea tree is also a good one. So you can add in, you know, like three to five drops um, or maybe one or two just in the beginning to build up, but you can add a little bit of essential oils, which I typically do in the mornings, but just not right now for this video. Um, but it's easy to do. You're just going to drop it right there on the spoon, put that in your mouth, and do the same exact thing, and it actually can make it taste a little bit better. One of my favorites is actually lemon, and then sometimes I'll also use peppermint. Um, but yeah, first thing in the morning on an empty stomach is ideal, but if not, just get it in throughout the day at some point or in the evening, maybe when you're at home relaxing, watching TV or reading a book, you know, so it's better to do it than to not do it at all. And believe me, you will notice a benefit. So if you start incorporating this at least, you know, every single day or maybe every other day, ideally every day, you know, then you're going to start noticing a difference within probably around one to two weeks and just how much better and cleaner and stuff that your mouth feels. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to post them below this video. And if this video was helpful and supported you in some way, then please feel free to like it and share it um, with your friends. Share it on your timeline. 
And also, if you decide to try oil pulling, then please, you know, take a picture, do a video, something like that, and please tag me, Mandy Fongle, because I like to see when my followers are getting inspired and motivated by the videos and stuff that I've created. So I trust that all of you guys are having an amazing day. And if you're interested or curious about what I do, just go to www.mandyfonville.com and you can find all the information. Of course, oil pulling as well as a lot of other holistic health and nutrition um, practices that I put into play on a daily basis are all included in my programs. So all of you guys have an amazing day. Love and light to you all and I look forward to connecting with you soon. God bless.